CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan spoke with the victim. She's live at Jones Beach right now with more. Jennifer. In fact, two shark sightings here at Jones Beach today, prompting the temporary closure. It was a Jones Beach junior lifeguard, an experienced surfer, who with his family on Kismet Fire Island became the latest victim of a shark attack. I was going like this, the shark signal. The 16-year-old Islip High student and passionate surf instructor felt the teeth of a six-foot long shark. I felt on my foot like a bear trap just get me from below, and it like hard. It felt like it broke my foot. And then I was struggling, and then it just let go. Max Haynes and a friend were splashing around on their surfboards about 5.40 p.m. Wednesday, pretending sharks were looming. 30 seconds later, I actually get, like, chomped on. Suddenly, it was the real thing, 15 to 20 yards off Kismet Beach. It got me, and he didn't believe me at first. I told him, like, James, I just got bit by a shark. We got to get out of the water. And proof. I have a few puncture wounds on the left side, and on the right, there's a good sized gash right underneath my toe. Max Haynes is the fifth confirmed shark bite victim in recent weeks off Long Island South Shore, a sixth possible at Jones Beach last month. Two have been lifeguards, two surfers, and a tourist visiting Fire Island. Dozens of sharks have been spotted from the Rockaways to Montauk, causing temporary beach closures. On Wednesday, a juvenile deceased great white washed ashore in Quag. Anytime you see see um, an apex predator, top predators doing well. That means the entire food chain is in place to support them. Joey Allo's curator of the Long Island Aquarium, where multiple curious families came to learn more about sharks and their habitat. Sharks don't have hands to feel with. They get their tactile information by mouthing something. And we're kind of bony and not a really good meal. Yeah. Max Haynes and his family say they're dedicated to respecting the ocean, the shark's natural home. You just got to find a way to cohabitate with each other. I think I'm very lucky that the outcome, you know, it gives me a cool story. I'm, uh, very grateful that the story will outlast the injury. Max's father is an EMT who assisted in his son's rescue. They want beachgoers to know never swim alone at dusk or dawn or where fish are feeding. We're live at Jones Beach. Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News. Christina Marie's back to you. All right, Jennifer, thank you. Glad he's okay.